Well, we made it here to the 2024 SHOT Show, uh, heading in to see what's going on. It was here yesterday, got to look around a little bit. This place is huge, you walk about six miles a day. So we're uh, starting to look over at the Caesars Palace area, which is where a lot of the major companies are gonna be. Uh, so far, I've just been looking around. I haven't really seen a lot of new stuff yet, but there's definitely a few guns of interest. Probably one of the more exciting things I've seen in SHOT Show so far is the new LWRCI 9mm. And we have Scott here from LWRCI who's going to give us a little bit of a rundown of the new gun. Hi, this is Scott with LWRC. This is the new IC9. It uh, falls in the IC family. It's got the same controls as our other ICs. So your safety, bolt catch, bolt release, mag catch, mag release. We're ambidextrous in the same location as our other IC line. It takes Glock magazines. It's ring delayed blowback. There's three variations at the moment. There's an eight and a half inch SBR, an eight and a half inch pistol, and a 16 inch carbine. This is new for this year, and we'll be shipping in the next couple weeks. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. SHOT Show 2024 are primary weapon systems. Perhaps the most interesting thing I have seen so far at the show is the primary arms UXR, which is a modular weapon system, which is something I really haven't seen done before. Very looking forward to getting a chance to take a look at one myself. We're gonna to talk to Adam here to see how to take us through it. I'm Adam from Primary Weapon Systems. This is our UXR, it stands for User Exchange Rifle. It is a multi-caliber firearm. So uh, we're initially gonna be releasing out in 223, 308, 300 blackout in the pin and well version with more calibers and barrel lengths coming on down the line. And kind of quick run through of the features. We've got our FRC muzzle device, uh, compatible with Reardon Atlas and two plan B mounts. We've got a three position gas adjustment. Uh, but, uh, you've got suppressed, uh, adverse, and normal. You've got an ambidextrous charging handle. You've got ambidextrous magazine release, bolt hold open, bolt release. Safety comes with a trigger tech two and a half pound to five pound trigger. Holding stock, which is reversible. And I'm going to do a quick teardown on how you do a barrel change. All right, we're going to do a quick demonstration of how you do a barrel exchange here. So pop your rear pin out, pull your fire control unit out, pull your magazine well out, release your spring. It's under tension, so make sure that doesn't go flying. Take your bolt out. You have three screws that are at 80 inch pounds. It only requires about one and a half to two turns to get that loose. The barrel comes out. And at this point, you've torn the, the gun down. You grab your new barrel. Put your new barrel in there. Make sure it's flush. Reset your screws to 80 inch pounds. You're gonna take your bolt, you're gonna push this pin out, it's gonna release your firing pin and spring. You pull your cam pin out, pull your bolt out, put your new bolt in, replace everything back together. Put your bolt back in. Replace your spring. Make sure you keep your face clear of this as it is under tension. Slide your fire control group back down there. Don't forget your mag well. And you've converted over from one caliber to another. We're here with uh, Jeff Spalding over at Caracal USA introducing his new 9mm pistol. We're going to have him uh, give us a little demonstration on what he's got. That's right. So this is the Caracal CMP9. Uh, this is the 9-inch version. We also have the Caracal CMP9K, which is the 6-inch version. What you're looking at is a 9mm advanced blowback PCC, if you will. Uh, it's originally designed as a submachine gun. We've then re-engineered the lower receiver completely. It's not, it's not just a modified lower. It's a completely different lower to be a semi-automatic 9mm pistol. Uh, as seen here by the brace. The way that we actually ship this to our customers currently is in this configuration here. Both the CMP9 and the CMP9K will be shipping just as it sits with no buttstock or brace, uh, but it does have the ability with the 1913 rail for any attachment you'd like to put. This is the 9-inch version with the Magpul M-Lock handguard. 
on the three, six, and nine for the Magpul slots, a interlocked 1913 rail on the 12 o'clock position. The pistol is fully ambidextrous, both left and right, for mag release, bolt catch, fire selector controls, as well as charging handles. Uh, it does run the HK MP5 magazines or any variant of the HK, uh, HK MP5 magazine. And the MSRP for the US market on this pistol is $1,525. We're here at the Colt booth of 2024, still making history. Well, they're still in history. Uh, 1911s, cowboy guns, revolvers, not so much new in the area of modern military and law enforcement. But they do have a new python that is, that is blue, which is looking quite nice. Shot Show 2024, where it's Zastava with Mr. Ranko from Serbia. And he's going to give us the rundown of the newest products from Zastava. As you guys know, I've, from my channel, I've done several videos on Zastava and some lately. And I'm very interested to see what he's got new. So I first I want to thank you for uh, coming to our uh, booth at Shot Show 2024. Uh, we are always glad to, to have people who contribute to AK community and definitely you are one of them. Thank you and, very much. Uh, I just want to let your viewers know that they are getting uh, really correct information from your channel. Uh, I also want to uh, let them know what's new, what's coming up this year, uh, re uh, recent releases. So what we have here is an M77 chamber in 308. Uh, this uh, model was released a couple years ago at the SHOT Show. We already sold hundreds of them, but what we have now is a DMR package. Uh, that means uh, we modified the existing model and we added some uh, accessories. We'll start from the top, but M standard M77 did not include is a flash hider. And then we're going to include a scope mount and a scope. Uh, this is just for the for the show. We are still working with the vendors to find the best solution. Uh, we also want to resemble the Zrak scope, that was the original scope used on M76. Uh, also modify uh, stock uh, to allow the installation of cheek rifle. Uh, and we are looking to release this uh, in coming months. We don't have an exact date. Uh, people are asking about the price point. We don't have that, but I can tell you it's going to be a lot cheaper, a lot uh, a better price than the M91 BMR that we have. Uh, that's camera in 762 by 54R. This uh, M77 will be will be definitely be below $2,000, uh, and uh, we will keep you posted about that. So here is. Uh, Zastava M70 underfolder. We announced it at the last shot show last year and we were able to bring it in before end of the year. Uh, there were some issues with the export permit, from, uh, export uh, ban from Serbia. We overcame that and uh, it's already shipped all over the country. Uh, we want to also just mention a few details that uh, your viewers might, uh, might not be uh, informed about is that it's coming already with the bayonet lug. And uh, this underfolder will also have a side rail. Uh, side rail is raised that will allow stock to be folded. And uh, in a couple weeks, we will release a new scope mount. Because if you install the regular scope mount on the raised rail, it's going to sit uh, too high. Uh, that's why we wanted to right away come up with an accessory that will uh, allow installation of the, of the red dot. And uh, this sample here is of the scope mount that we will release. It's made in, a, in the US, uh, great quality, and as you can see, it fits perfectly our rifle. It will also allow removal of, uh, of a dust cover without removing the scope mount. Uh, so you will be able to maintain your rifle and uh, leave the scope mount on. This is well-known ZPAP M70. Why we have uh, this furniture, this anniversary furniture. Uh, factory celebrated recently 170 years in business. And uh, we are very, very proud to represent this brand in the United States. Uh, but uh, at this SHOT Show, we want to announce that every, from today, every ZPAP M70 from now on will come with a bayonet-like machine. 
uh, that was requested by Zastava fans for a long time. And now uh, with this slug it will uh, bring back that original look of N70 and uh, it will increase the value too. So we can, hear, we can go here to the front. Excuse me, gentlemen. We have, uh, here is a ZPAP M72. It's a Zastava RPK. As you probably know, Zastava M70 receivers are already built as RPK. It's a 1.5 mm receiver, both, both Shronion. And then a ZPAP M72 rifle has the longer barrel, barrel heavier with the cooling fins and the bipod. On the side, we still have a scope rail. And uh, we will release it this year. We don't have exact date. We're still working on, uh, with the production of the factory to plan the release. Uh, and uh, at this, this uh, sample here, we have a battle-worn furniture that uh, brings back the look of the original uh, Zastava M7 to our uh, We want to show you a few more, few more products that uh, are in stock or will be released very soon. Uh, one of them is a CZ999 with a, a laser engraved grips and there is a engraved Serbian crest on the slide and it also comes with a with a walnut case and since it's uh, laser engraved it's uh, pretty affordable and uh, we really think this is a nice uh, gift package for Zastava fans. Uh, we also have a hand engraved version uh, that uh, comes with a certificate from the factory. The uh, factory has the master engravers uh, and uh, there are people out there, Zastava fans, who would appreciate their work. Uh, we want to mention that we are also supporting companies uh, that uh, support the gun industry. One of them is a Tecto. It's an American company that makes knives. This one is an out of front knife that's gonna be released. It's a Zastava edition. Uh, it has the grip that has a wood insert that resembles the handguard of a Zastava AK. Also has a reversible clip and a glass breaker. And this is S35 steel. It's a prime quality steel, and it will match the quality of Zastava firearms. It will be released uh, in the coming months, and uh, you will be informed about that. And lastly, you can see here, dresses. So what Zastava has to do with dresses, uh, these dresses are made for empty uh, casings, like you can see, different calibers. And uh, they are made in Serbia by a designer that's really coming, just coming here, Miona. Uh, she is a competitive shooter. Hello. She's an international champion actually in uh, uh, practical shooting and uh, designer. And actually these, all these dresses were uh, made by Miona personally, handmade. And Zasto Arms USA will also offer these. Uh, we invite all the firearm companies, especially maybe ammunition companies. This is a great product to promote your brand and uh, they will be available in the United States. Thank you very much and I want to introduce you to, to Miona. Miona, nice to meet you. I'm also from Serbia. Um, as Ranko mentioned, I'm an IPC shooter and I like to declare myself as, as an artist. This is my way to keep the balance at the shooting range. Hi guys, Neil Trout from FM Products. I want to talk about our new one-piece barrels that we've come out with that we are excited to put out to the market. Um, we've manufactured our own barrels in-house for many years now and we're excited to be able to combine a couple different processes into making this all one piece from the muzzle device, barrel, gas block, and extension. They're all one piece. Uh, up here in the front, we've licensed a dead air chemo mount to start. Uh, 
allows us to mitigate some of the issues that you have with suppressor mounts, not only concentricity issues between the device and the bore, but also permanently attaching them on like a 16 inch barrel. The pin and weld is just difficult to do and can cause problems over time. We've eliminated all that. An added benefit that we didn't realize until actually the engineers at Dead Air pointed it out, we get more effective rifling than a traditional pin and weld. So a pin and weld is going to have 13.9 inches of rifling, but because we can run the rifling all the way up to here, we're around 14.6 in the same 16.1 inch barrel package. So that's what's going up on up here in the front. Here at the gas block, you can see it's a much lower profile, and you'll notice that the gas port is drilled at a 45 degree angle. There's a reason the Russians did that on the AK. Now, it's, it's more difficult to drill at a 45 degree angle, but they had unlimited manpower and machines and people. With modern manufacturing techniques, it's now not as difficult to do that 45 degree gas port. So that allows us to do a smaller port there. And now we have this cool gas tube. It looks like a fuel injection ferrule on the end. You notice the gas is coming in through the end instead of a hole in the side. So the tube is stronger and it's an easier path for the gas to flow. It doesn't have to come up and make a right turn. And when it goes into the barrel, so I can do this here on camera. There we go. And then we spin it down into location. Once it's in the upper receiver here, it actually can't pull out because it would have to come up at an angle. Now we still put two pins on here to keep it in place, but it's, it's really secured there by how this goes together at that 45 degree angle. And then finally here on the back end, we've increased the diameter of the barrel extension. We did that because of our new heavy duty bolt. You can see that this bolt has a larger diameter in the web. Uh, between the lugs as well as behind the lugs here and that's where you really seal a lot of failures especially when you open up this breech face for a 762 by 39 caliber so uh, we, we designed it around the 762 by 39 but we realized uh, we could still put a 556 uh, breech face on there so we're really excited to have this heavy duty bolt it did require us to open up the, to make the extension bigger but an added benefit from that is that you now see the feed ramps are not truncated on a normal m4 feed ramp it's truncated here and you have to blend it to the upper receiver and then that part is aluminum it gets chewed up over time or if the extension overhangs you can get the nose of the projectile caught under there it's something that gunsmiths are constantly chasing and polishing feed ramps well now 100 percent of the feed ramp is in that extension and it's made out of steel so it'll hold up over time and we're not chasing blends the other added benefit is we cut this flat here. And what we use that for is we're doing a thermal fit between the upper receiver and the barrel extension here, just like you would do on your thermal fit CNC machine tools. So you have to heat up the upper receiver so that this can slide in. And that flat ensures that as it goes into that hot upper and cools over time, that it can't twist and it's perfectly in alignment every time. And of course, we're still gonna put an indexing pin in there. Again, redundancy, belt and suspenders, these two items are gonna ensure that all of these features are in perfect alignment on the gun. So again, that's our new one-piece barrel machined in-house at FM Products from 41B50 Ordnance Grade Barrel Steel and our new heavy duty bolt in 5.56 and 7.62 by 39. Here I want to talk about our new Mic 47. You've been hearing about it for over a year now. We've set uh, working prototypes at Red October, but the nut that we had to crack before we could put this out on the market was developing a heavy duty bolt to go in here. Most of the time when you open up the bolt face on a mil spec uh, bolt up to 7.62 by 39, you get a premature failure on the unsupported lugs by the extractor. And so we had to come up with a new heavy duty bolt that would last uh, high round count that uh, our customers expect from our guns. So now that we've cracked that nut, this is going into production. It also benefits from our new one-piece barrel technology. Uh, that There's another video you should check out where I go through all the features on that one-piece barrel. All of the good stuff you've come to love about our Gen 2 upper receivers, short carrier, integrated dual recoil system, a couple different variants as far as folding stock goes. This is the Magpul Zukov version. We also have a Picatinny rail variant where you can put whatever brace you want on the back. And uh, you might see some other stock versions too with other people's names on it. Obviously takes uh, 762 by 39 mags. We love the Magpul mags. Rock and lock. 
And if you notice, there's a super tight lockup between the magazine and the receivers. We're doing something special in the upper receiver I might not want to talk about until the patent's finalized. But it gets a super tight lockup so that if you grab on this or rest against the magazine, you're not going to influence the carrier on the inside. And if I didn't mention it, my favorite part, slap mod charging handle for everybody who uh, is an MP5 fan. Obviously, no bolt catch on the Rock and Lock style magazine. So this allows you to clear, uh, to lock back or to clear a type three malfunction that you might have. And then obviously you're still got your uh, AR fire control back here. So all of your awesome aftermarket triggers will be compatible with this aftermarket safeties, aftermarket grips. Lots of real estate up here to mount all your optics, lights and accessories, Magpul compatible handguard. So like I said, uh, it does, does everything an AK does but just a little bit better as far as those ergonomics go. So, should be coming quarter one, 2024, Mike 47, Foxtrot Mike products. Thank you so much.